Christian Bible School ending program. It has been a wonderful week to spend with your children. I would like to thank all of my volunteers that have made this possible. Would you please stand up for a second and let's give them a round of applause. I felt a little bit out of sorts this week because I wasn't teaching one of the things. I was just kind of, you know, <laughs> around and about. But we put on a great week. The kids have loved it. It has been a real learning experience for me as well as them. And when we're done in here, we have ice cream in the fellowship hall. I have 16 cartons of ice cream, so I've got lots for everybody. Okay. Anyway, thank you very much for coming, and we're going to turn it over to Rachel and Laura.
Hi, we hope you liked our song. We've had so much fun this week learning about how Jesus rescues us. I, each day we learned a different reason to trust in God and let his word guide us through our paths. We also met Castaway Jim. We loved having him with us on our island all week. Through all his adventures, he learned that God is there for him, even when he's having such a hard tough times. Look, there he is now. Hi, Castaway Jim. On day one, we learned that when you're lonely, our Bible story was about Jesus telling parables about lost things. Psalm 27, verse 10 says, The Lord will hold me close. Jesus will always be with us, even when we feel alone. We took cool cubes to represent, to represent the special things about us. We thought when we put them in, they would, in the water, they would disappear or dissolve, but they didn't. They got bigger. Even when we feel small, lost, or lonely, Jesus will hold on to us and pull us out and his love for us grows and grows. On day two, we learned that when you worry, Jesus you. The Bible story today taught us about Martha who worries and complains. Psalms 34, verse 19 says, The Lord comes to the rescue each time. We had so much fun singing the next song. Miss Laura couldn't let go of her worries to join in. We had refreshing lifesavers that she, could, she couldn't get open because her hands were clenched in worry so much. We had to help her learn to, 
to let go and not worry. Jesus will take over and guide us, with, and we can enjoy these all his amazing blessings like lifesavers. On day three, we learned that when you struggle, Miss Rachel is even having a tough time, and she has remembered to slow down and trust that God will take control. The Bible story told us about Jesus' friends trying to rescue him in the Garden of Gethsemane. Psalm 46, verse 8 says, Be still and know that I am God. Today, we learned that when we struggle and life seems stormy or ties up in knots to trust God. We even made a storm. Make one with us. All right. We are going to ask that you follow along with what the kids do right now. We're going to make a storm together. Kids, you ready? Your parents, now be very still, very quiet, and listen because your parents are going to do what you do. Are you ready? All right. Let's roll in those rain clouds. 
Here they come. Skies getting covered. They're big. They look full and dark. Oh. Really slowly, we hear these raindrops. Oh, oh those raindrops are getting faster. They're hitting the window panes. The leaves are getting weighted down with raindrops because they're getting faster and heavier, and they're getting stronger. Oh, those raindrops are getting stronger. Whoa, and the wind, the wind picks up. That wind is picking up. Those raindrops are getting harder, and they start getting louder, louder. Oh my goodness, and here comes that storm! Oh, oh my goodness, that rainstorm is just coming! All right, and then, oh, it seems to be letting up. Oh, thank goodness, that wind calms down. That wind calmed down, and my heart was fluttering, but I remember that God is there with me, and my heart is calming down just like our raindrops. And soon, they start getting light and lighter and man I start taking deep breaths because God is with me and the raindrops are slowing down and pretty soon there's not any more left God is here for us always keeping us safe in the storms if we follow him, he will lead us to safe shores.
On day four, we learned when you worry, Jesus rescues. Our Bible story today taught us that Jesus welcomes criminal before dying and coming back to life. John 16, 33 says, Here on earth you will have many trials and sorrows, but take, it, take heart because... I have overcome the world, even though we make mistakes in sin. Jesus re rescues us. Today, we watched Castaway Jim make a big mistake. Luckily, it worked out for him, and it was just an accident. What about those mistakes that we do on purpose? We made this water bottle at the act the activity center during vacation Bible school, and uh, this green piece represents Jesus, and uh, this blue um, ring represents me. I am stuck at the bottom of the ocean, and when you squeeze this, Jesus goes down, and you try to get these hooks on the ring. Once you do, um, you are saved. I have done it 27 times. It's true.
on day five, we learned that when you're powerless, our Bible story was about Peter and John healing a lame man in Jesus' name. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 19 through 20 says, This is the same mighty power that raised Christ from the dead. We watched for God sightings all week to help patch our sail to get off the island. Through the throughout through all the th amazing things we saw, smelled, tasted, heard, and felt felt and did in God's word, we were able to see God's work in our lives and in the world around us. We have so many amazing reasons to trust in God, and we can sing about it. I want to thank you guys for bringing your amazing, wonderful children to us. Um, I'm actually going to get them off the risers for this one because we have some amazing dancers and they get to freestyle in this one. So I'm going to let them fill this aisle way, guys. Go ahead, spread out this way. If you want to stay on the risers because your moves are a little bit more controlled, go ahead and do that. But if you want to come through here, here we go. Okay, I want, I want to say one thing really quick before we do our song, because I know that I'll never get you back after this song. Um, I just wanted to invite everyone. We have a lot of new faces this week, which has been absolutely wonderful. We have loved getting to know all these kiddos that maybe we didn't have a chance to meet until this week. Um, I do Sunday school opening during the school year, which starts the Sunday after Labor Day weekend. That's our rally day. We have Sunday school opening where we sing and dance and praise together every week. Um, and then we have Sunday school. So if you're looking for a church to call home, we would absolutely love for you to keep coming back. And if you come when Sunday school starts, you will see me again. And we'll do a lot of these songs uh, during opening when Sunday school starts. Okay. Angie, did you want to say anything else? No? Okay, so ice cream right after this, right? All right. <laughs> <laughs> 